Hmm. Huh. Okay, got off the dirt off. Hey, uh, what's up, buddy? Bud, are you trying to get into this cave? Uh, I'm not one to stop folks, but I'll tell you, it's boiling inside the cave. You'll be burnt to crisp going in there like that, burnt to crisp. Oh. The caves here have lava in them, so it's burning hot inside. You'll turn into dust unless you're gone. For Hylians like us, we have to do something extra to protect ourselves. Mixing fireproof lizards with monster parts to make fireproof elixirs, for example, can help out with the ingredients, but if you have them, feel free to use that pot over there to make what you need. <laughs> Me? I'm completely drenched from top to bottom. So I won't be getting birth anytime soon. Oh, so if I'm drenched, but how long does it last? Oh. Hey buddy, you after marble rock roasts? There are some in there, but the path to them has collapsed, so you have to be careful. Well, I still got some time, and I guess I'm drenched enough. Let's the cave. Strange stuff. Less quite a while. Then it's power stage. That's so mean. <laughs> oh, there was a lava waterfall. Uh, this marble rock rose is mine, mine, oh mine. Nobody gets a single bite. If you want some of your own, head up for Goron City, it's up this path. No, damn it. Ooh, got it. Got it. Oh. No, I just broke my weapon, so... Where am I? Uh, this is where the... The mine used to be. Sulfur mine. Elding Ostrich. This large bird makes its home in the volcanic region of Elding. 
Their heat resistant feathers and skin are evolutionary traits produced by the harsh environment. Their wings are too small to facilitate flight, but their long legs make them pretty speedy runners. Rubber tight, a high quality piece of meat that's hard to come by. You can eat it raw, but cooking it first will recover more hearts. Huh? Oh, it's a different like like rock like. Huh. Oh, does it pick stuff at me too? Uh, this monster can be found all over highly in dark places such as caves. They're covered in rocks that shield them like armor. Aren't the other ones protected from the outside as well? They try to imitate you, to intimidate you by spitting rocks out of their mouths, but they can be quieted when they have swallowed something. Oh, that's it. Okay, spit another one. Come on. Oh. I don't really want to spin now. So. Ah, now you're called more like like. Okay. the shield. Those don't count, do they? What's over here? Uh, spear. <laughs> fire key swing. A rare fire key swing. It's not usually on fire, but it does produce a powerful blaze when stimulated. Oh, uh, southern mine. Oh. Uh. This one is in the box. No mind cards here. Hmm. Oh, feels more like a mini game area, being like that. And it's in hot, so yeah, sounds like mini game. Ah, uh, there are cars over here. Oh. Why is this chest like that? Cobble, cobble Crusher. Uh, uh, in its former state, this hefty weapon knocks out many a foe. The kid is still packs punch and is great for breaking rocks. Great for breaking rocks, so... Submarine butterfly. 
a butterfly found in the woods and plains of warm regions. Its wings absorb the warmth of the sun, cooking with most parts to create an elixir that makes you feel warm and fuzzy. Oh, there's a chest there. Raw whole bird. This prize meat can be obtained from certain birds. It gets full points for flavor, nutrition, and volume. It pairs perfectly with other ingredients or can be enjoyed alone. I haven't seen regular dissolves yet. These quick witted lizard like monsters can be found all over Hyrule. Their fiery breath makes them pretty dangerous, but exposure to cold will kill them instantly. The lava like horn retains extreme heat and burns anything that touches it, making uh, they mainly live in volcanic regions. Well, well, well. Fire breath is of horn, a horn that glows in glows red in, with the power of fire. Cooked with a creature to make elixir, the right combination could draw out the blazing power containing thing. Mm, but this seems good for a weapon too. Mm, dead. Expected Bokobo, an upgraded Bokobo bound with animal bone to boost its durability and fire power. Its craftsmanship is sloppy, but it's light and easy to use. <laughs> Is a Reaper, a light thin metal sword used by the guards of Haru. How is that different from this old blade? What's the difference? Why is this a blade and that is a Reaper? It's the same thing. Is oh, okay. I think this one is a two. This one is a two-handed. Okay. Uh, yeah. Drop that. This is taking a while to get up there. Oh, another one. Oh, okay. Oh, my friend, I got separated. Oh, no. Really? Oh, too bad. My friend says smoke signal. Okay. Oh, don't worry. We'll figure something out, little guy. Now, would this work? Oh no! Ah, uh, damn it! Oh! Ah, oh, I thought that was a bomb. Oh, can I use that with the rock? 
Okay. You'll go back there. Yeah. So I'll try again with the other. <laughs> okay, now we're going to rewind you. Oh, it's down there again. So let's stick the weapon. It tossed down there. Now we're going to push you to the weapon and try to rewind it. Okay. Come on, rewind, rewind. Oh, it detached. Oh. Hmm. That took way too long. Yeah. Oh, see. Oh, there's a blue pit there. Mm. Oh, uh, oh, for proof lizards, come on to play. Eh? <laughs> okay. Ah. Cosber. Uh, oh, didn't see you there. I've got fireproof lizards on the brain. So, uh, did you need something? I'm kind of busy. Fireproof lizards. Oh. Fireproof lizards are a key ingredient for fireproof elixir, you see? Fireproof equipment is so pricey that I can't afford it. But fireproof lizards, they don't cost a thing. Shouldn't you know, Bo, your employer provide you with the safety equipment you need for working? Uh, it seems like their burrow is inside the cave, uh, and that's where I like to go to. When the cave is, is sweltering hot, a hyena like you or me wouldn't last long without proper defenses. Uh. Oh, do me a favor, buddy. If you're after the lizards too, please go catch them somewhere else. Uh, they're always on high alert, and they're really sensitive to footsteps. Oh. I thought you would want me to get some for you. There, I lost. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to be nothing more. Oh, the monsters are asleep. Oh, 
Octarchite Ball. This can only be obtained from Octarch type enemy. Its niche, its nature is to focus on moving a moving object. Attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Ah, says of faint throat. This red throat prefers warm bodies of water. It has a special organ, especially for storing heat. When cooked into a dish, it temporarily boosts your resistance to cold. Octarch Tentacle. This can only be obtained from Octarch type enemy. It's too acidic for cooking, but it's highly valuable as ingredient for elixirs. can get directions to caves like that as well. Oh. Oh, so you guys can take the hitch. Oh. And I just missed one. Lava light would be better. Uh, these monsters live mostly in caves near volcanoes. They belch scorching fire out of their mouths. There are still many mysteries about them, but it seems they don't do well in the cold. Don't get too close, or they'll gulp you up into a large, into their large gullets and give you an all too close look in, in their insides. like stone oh, so the other one was a uh, normal like like inside but this one isn't a stomach stone that persists even at uh, high temperatures it retains heat even outside the body of the creature that contain it which makes it a useful elixir ingredient cobble closer Fire breath, lethal blade. A claymore, no decay, was carried by Knights of Haru. Hmm. Oh, it's a fire surge that I haven't seen any yet. 
Oh, good. Hmm, this is simpler. Amber Shirt. Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat absorbing cloth that produces flame and high temperature environments. Oh. Hmm. The cold one, they didn't have all that. Visitor from afar, should you should your thirst for treasure remain unscathed? Unslaked. Read on. I discovered the tunic of awakening. Tunic of awakening. In a strange land and have hidden it away. Solve my riddle to make it your own. So, but is this some ancient stuff from the Sunday? On the Tabanta frontier, where Rain, Piper, and Tanagar meet, uh, are those rivers? Ring pillars stands together. Uh, one of those mighty pillars opens the way to my treasure. Oh, so Marito find my treasure and earn my respect. The great Benny to Misko. So he's still around. Treasure of Awakening. Uh, from Link's Awakening or... This... Well, what was the name here? It was Room of Awakening. So is that the champion's tunic? Maybe. That's how I'll get it back. Top of the frontier where Piper, Rain, and Tanagar meet. Uh, pillars. So here, those pillars where the shrine was okay let's mark it a treasure somewhere here oh But I didn't have it. This prize ingredient can be obtained from moblins. Its odor is too pungent for normal food preparation, but still it with some critters to make elixirs. Oh, cool. Oh. It would be nice if we could rewind ourselves to go back up. Just left. Huh, I didn't see those wolves yet. No. Ah, oh, serious. More of the wolf. These wolves are not only carnivores, but they can also be downright fierce. 
They are highly aggressive and are afraid to attack people. They hunt in groups and surround their prey as a means to, of bringing it down. That said, if one of their own is injured, the rest are wise enough to run away. They communicate via house. So if you are wandering, wandering the forest and hear their call, you have best take care. Uh, that mountain marker Kirk 4, this is what you're gonna see. Those are the markers that were here in the previous one. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's somebody here. Can you see them? Hi. Hey there. I'm glad to see. Ah, are you the husband? Uh, I'm glad to see someone out here. It's been a long, lonely journey. Been a while since I saw another Highland. Around here, it's Goron's as far as I can see. I'm en route to Goron City. I hear that's the place to go if you want fire resistant clothes. Aww. Hopefully, they're not too pricey. Yeah, they were quite expensive. I won't be able to buy them. Damn, money's hard in this one. I see my car lane plain sight. Uh, so we'll be able to go up with it. Hey, remember you? Boring. If the president hadn't gotten involved with Marble Rock Roast, none of this would have happened. At this rate, the Southern Mine, no, your noble coal is finished. <gasps> Don't just sit around eating Marble Rock Roast, get to work. Uh, just simply the goods. Weren't you all so excited that you know Boko was gonna be building minecart lane here? Minecart lane? Sorry about all that, traveler. Minecart lane is an amusement park that we started building at the request of President Yunobo, head of Yunobo Ko. Uh, he wanted to create an attraction to draw travelers in something fun. But lately, all the young girls won't do a week of work, and the project come, projects come to a screeching halt. The Noboko, Noboko who handles everything from mining or to selling it. We rely on them to keep our economy going. They have big plans for minecart land, but it looks like the grand opening is a ways off yet. Oh, and if it's or you're after, try going to the company store up ahead. Or you can get some in the city. The prices are half what's normal, so you can get a good deal. For how much do I sell? Or <laughs> who cares about minecart lane when there's marble rock rose to chomp? <gasps> You're chomping instead of working. At this rate, the southern mine, no Yonobuko as a whole, is done for. Yonobuko mineral market, fresh minerals at half the normal price. Oh, well, I need to sell them, not buy them, but. Flinch. 14 rupees. Uh, examine. Why examine? Mm -hmm. Hey, hold on. The store is owned by a guy named Bladon. He's out right now. If you want to buy something, you have to wait till he gets back. Now that I think about it, he left for Gorm City to buy Marble Rock and Rose and he hasn't come back for some days now. Just what is he up to, anyhow? I'd like to see the price. Okay, but this is it to remember. Then, so I'll check how much I sell it. So probably won't suffer much in Gold City. Uh, we're always rocking at the Yonoboko store. Uh, our prices are just half what you normally pay. That's the best place to buy in bulk. That's for sure. I would sell. Uh, five. I don't know if a regular store would pay more or less for it. We buy from you at the normal prices. Hmm. But at uh, Yunoboko stores, we sell all half of what you normally pay. Okay. Yunoboko, Yunoboko is the company that handles all the money in this area. The press wants to make or more accessible to uh, so everyone can enjoy it. 
we are able to sell it directly to you, the customer, at half the normal price. Okay. We hear that some of our younger girls are targeting uh, the likes of you, or Hylians to be specific. Ever since the marble rock rose showed up, they've all been acting odd. Yeah, they said it was dangerous for a Hylian to go up, but they just mostly ignored me so far. You watch yourself, huh? Oh! I kind of want to see what happens if I blow it. <laughs> okay, it wasn't all that bad. But this is dangerous. Dangerous stuff. Oh, up here. So my shoe. Oh. oh, I don't think I have pictures of those. I usually find them in chests. <laughs> I usually find them in chests. Uh, Nah, yeah, let's swap for the one I have. Ah, it's better than this one. Also, it's a shield. A shield with higher durability is better than a shield with the same number. Ah, uh, I don't know how durability of shields. Let's get a better number. Uh, uh, I haven't seen one of those yet. Yeah. Oh. The other one fits better. Uh, let's try the material. Uh, I thought I'm sure that one would be helpful. Uh, around here. What does it do? Oh! Oh! Did I lose the shoot? No. Oh, that was high? Oh. Mm -mm -mm. How many of those do I have? Only four? I thought I found more. First black one, fine. Looks angry. Uh, although the goblins are generally a nuisance, the back goblins are among the most dangerous types. Uh, they are extremely resilient and powerful, especially when it comes to their forceful attacks with their heft forms. Ooh, that was close. Goblin horn, a vicious three pronged horn attached to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Or cook the creature to make elixir. This looks really good for a um, spear. A knight shield, a shield favored by knights who served the Hyrule royal family. 
Its sturdy metal construction makes it quite durable, but its weight requires a decent skill to wield. Hmm. Um, okay, no rockets or fans or anything around, so let's continue. By horse. Oh, I didn't see you here. Uh, hey. No, 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 I have to set things up for top two. Okay. Mm hmm. Ah. Mm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Okay. And you give me. Okay. <laughs> it's some rice. Energizing seafood rice balls. Okay. It's new. Instantly refill some of your stamina wheel. Stuffed with aromatic seafood, the flavor can vary by ingredients, but never disappoints. Well, uh, bone flowers. Bone flowers. Uh. Oh. Okay. Over here, it's important. What if I ignore you guys? It's safe to ignore you guys. Beige. Uh, we gotta let in, in on something. There are some untrustworthy fellas rolling around the city right now. So, if you are loaded up on ore, you should probably sell it before you're scammed out of it. We're good girls, we'll take it off your hands for a great price. How about three rupees for all your ore? Can I, I re can I really accept that? Whatever ore you got, come on, show us the goods. Um, if if this was Breath of the Wild, I would probably sell it just to see. But I kind of needing the money. Huh? Uh, hey, what are you doing? Mm. Oh, oh uh, let's get out of here. That was a bit delayed, but okay. Mm. Uh, you almost got dubbed there, huh? No, I refused. Now the Death Mountain's eruption have stopped and the lava's cold, I've been seeing more highness travelers. Ah. Which is great, except those two have been swelling travelers by offering to take their art for next to nothing. After the marbled rock rose started surfacing, everyone around here is being acting strange. Mm. So be mindful of any Gorons who got marbled rock roast. Who are you? Mm -hmm. My name is Ramela. I'm a jeweler from Gerudo Town in the Southwest Harold. The ore that Yunaboko deals in is high quality, so I always come here to re replenish my stock. And so she's probably the one that was around Gorm City in the previous one. If you're open to it, I'll gladly buy your ore of you for my shop. Huh? How rude, I never rip you off. Well, I guess you did almost get ripped off, so your response is warranted. Uh. I'm not going to force you. If you decide you'd like to sell it, then let me know. Right now, I'm low amber. Uh, if you sell me a parcel of 10 pieces of amber, I'll buy them for a little more than you could sell them for at other shops. Ah. Alright then, I'm off to Gorm City to get some to get more gems. Hang on, I want to sell. Take care. Ah. Uh, since you're speaking with me again, I assume you have more to sell. Amber probably have. 200, yeah. Ah. Sorry, to sell. Sorry. Sorry to sell is another expression where I'm from. It means thank you. Kids these days shorten each sark. Eh? Uh, that was very helpful. I'll buy ore for you anytime. So keep in mind that I'm often looking for different ore at different times. So check in with me every so often to see what I'm looking for. Uh, uh, no, mm. 
sell me your bridges now, since we're going to again. Topazes. 10, I don't have 10. Looks like I don't have 10 topaz gems. It's got to be 10 at a time, otherwise no deal. Ah. Do you want something else? No. It'll be that for a while. <laughs> wow, in no game you could bring Epona all the way to our city. Oh, even though... Oh, it's quite different. They've opened up here. This piece is this one. Oh. Uh, customer, only reason I still run in this place is because Boss Bluto will get mad if I close up shop. If I had in my way, I could and leave out my days covered in a massive pile of beautiful marble rock roast. And my stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's still working. Oh. Yeah, maybe I could have some. Mm -hmm. Hey, you did some work in the caves. Back when Death Mountain was active, this area had tons of lava. Flame resistant equipment was really popular at the time. Mm. Nowadays, the only folks who buy this stuff are Highlands or lava lovers who work in the caves for Yunoboko. So that's why I'm selling dirt cheap. That's cheap. Mm. Uh, you buy that, it'll be 700 rupees. Flame breaker armor. Armor crafted by Goros for Highland Curious enough to visit Goros City. It's made from fire resistant rocks to protect the wearer. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think this was. I think it was 3000. I can work a bit. Something oh. by okay. Flame breaker boots. Our artists use flame resistant rocks to craft these fireproof boots for curious guidance within Gorm City. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sick of trying to get customers to go inside. Uh, it's not nearly hot enough for fireproof gear. Nobody's gonna buy right now fireproof gear. Mm. Until a couple years ago. A couple years ago. It could be a few, but that could be literally just two years ago. I know, Death Mountain was super active in erupting. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean best game was two years ago. Uh, is the reason Garcy was so hot in flowing through lava? Well, but we know it was at least two years ago. Okay. A little hiding like you would have been cooked up to a crisp. So we always have we we'll always saw fireproof gear for folks such as yourself, but now the only places hot enough for it are the caves. Our sales have hit rock bottom. Mm, buying ore for the cheap and then turning around and selling at a high price. <laughs> Those my bros, so smart, rupees in marble rock roasts. That's all anyone should need. Shoot, we almost had him. We could have squeezed him for every measly rupee he had. Mm. We squeezed the next one who rolls along. Well, we've got better things to do at the moment. <gasps> President Yunobo asked me to start up a new ruby shop. But now it's no time for work. All I've got time for is this incredible marble rock roast. Does that have the price? Uh, hey there, you want something? I heard there's something, some old Goro at Yonoboko's mineral market just outside the gate selling flint. What a joke. Everyone knows Marble Rock Rose is where it's at. Anything other than that is junk. Typical Highlands, repeating the piece, here are the same. 
Uh, I don't have time for the likes of you, so get out of here. The Pluto. Setting high, biting low. Seven for high, biting for low. I always say that's how it should be. Customer, don't you go listening on me. No. Pluto told me to keep prices as they are, so I can't rip anyone off. Did I tell you? Quit nosing on me. Goodbye. Where is still here. <laughs> money even for that. Hmm. Working from dusk to dawn, can't a catch break. Bluto can eat marble rock rolls, so he's take his aggression out on me by making me work all the time. Oh, oh heck, please. Uh, it's so smoky because of that darn marble rock roast. Maybe I wouldn't mind so much if I could enjoy it, but this teeth of mine can't handle that crunch. We don't see many strangers around here. I'm gonna tell you, if Marble Rock Rose is popular among the kids, well, so be it. But they're losing their heads over it, tricking travelers into forking over hoopies. I'm dropping work for more of them rocks. Girl City used to be such a nice place. We others can eat marble rock roast. So we're stuck watching things fall apart. Excuse me, Jabbering, so you stay here? Regular battery costs you 20 rupees. If you wanna throw a girl massage, that'll be that'll run yeah 50 rupees. Massage. Mm -hmm. New to the art of girl massage, area. Yeah, that's okay. First time for everything, as they say. A girl style massage is done on top of a rock hard bed. A hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze all the tension out. That's right. It doesn't hurt one bit, mostly. I tell you, I even doze off sometimes. Afterwards, you sleep like a rock and feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. Uh, regular man. Okay, not tired. Careful there. Oh, the brothers aren't here. Oh! Cabeta's Diary. Oh, read Cabeta's Diary. I don't remember their names, so they're down there. First page. My two brothers and I have started work at Unoboco, which is really taking off. Unoboco is a big company that's single handedly taking on mining in Yoli. President Unobo, who heads up the company, is all about making Goro smile. He wants to make travelers visiting Goro City smile too. So the three of us have important work to do. I'm going to do all I can to make President Yunobo proud. Next page. Today, President Yunobo is treating everyone to this new stuff called Marble Rock Meat Roast. But it's kind of weird around here lately. He hasn't been himself since he started wearing that strange mask. Some of the others are acting funny too. The President Yunobo is being mighty generous, treating all of us to a fancy meal. Oh, previous page was just that. Okay, it makes sense that you would stop worrying about right after that. Oh, you three's a sister. Oh. Dom, hey fella, what are you thinking? He's trolling into this war zone. You must have seen the Beware of Corals going wild for Primal Red Rocks headline in the paper, right? Maybe? Uh, I don't really remember. What, what headline? No, uh, you're kidding me. Uh, don't you read the papers? Here, let me give you a sample of this peerless reporting. Goro scams are rampant these days, so Goro City bound travelers should exercise caution. And you see who wrote that? Me, Doma, reporter extraordinaire. One, you've never heard of me. Oh. Uh, but that's yesterday news. Time is money, and I ain't rich enough to spend it talking to some random stranger. I gotta get back on, tra on the trail of the great mystery. It's something so secret that nobody has figured it out. <coughs> ah. Hey, now that's the part where you're supposed to ask. The great mystery. The great mystery? Oh. 
Oh, jeez. I hate to let this sleep, but since you want to know so badly, I guess I can let you in on it. We all know Goros lived underground way back when. Uh, you're talking about what kind of time they've been kind of indoors. I wouldn't call that underground. But the particulars are still a total mystery. A great one, even. All you know is the place's name, Gorondia. And you're lucky to even get that. As most girls, and they'll tell you they don't know a thing. But I'm gonna let... Am I gonna let that stop me? No, because I am an awesome reporter. I'm gonna go to the bottom of this great mystery and turn it into an even greater book. The almost guide to the unknown. It is gonna fly off the shelves. Time to start practicing my signature. Okay. I probably have a few to trade. Uh, only six? Hmm. Okay. Huh. Uh. He said that he made my car lane. Chingo's a liar. My car lane. Uh. I don't know you. Chingo told me I shouldn't talk to people. I don't know. Chingo? Uh. I don't really know you. Uh. Chingo eats marble rock rolls all the time and won't make my car lane. That's how I talk to a stranger. That's why I talk to a stranger. You know, Boko HQ, do not stray from the path, both literally and figuratively. Are we kidding? <gasps> Give me a break. That Hylian Blowney had me making the weird stuff. She said it was a simple mask, but it looked funny to me. And she had me make it with another material. At the time, my apprentice, Fugo, kept saying he wanted to be a smith like me. But now all he talks about is marble rock rolls. He won't so much as show his face around here anymore. <gasps> that in a bit. And it was finally time for me to pass along the secret of our trade. How to make the boulder breaker. Boulder breaker? Uh, customer. Sorry bug, I'm a smith, not a shopkeeper. My folks is on the boulder breaker right now. The art of craft is such a beauty, such a build has been passed down through the ages. Only a chosen few can make it. It's a historical weapon and make it as a make it is an absolute order. Here I thought I'd be teaching my apprentice Fugo to make it. But the fool's obsession with rock, marble rock rose stuff, it's all he cares about anymore. I told him to shove off right in the middle of the work. I'm done with him. Uh, isn't, doesn't the, you look like a stone mage weapon? Oh, and this one isn't uh, the cage. No, let's just, let's just drop it. Damn it. Oh, hey bug, kick your hands off that. Hey Fugo, get this guy off here. Oh, that's right, he's not here now. Anyway, the hunk of junk still a work in progress. It's fragile, so don't touch it. Oh. This is the hunk of junk. Okay. I'll get it. Eventually. Hey, not you too. And after all my warnings about the marble rock roast. No. So everyone's acting funny because because of the marble rock roast that President Yunobu is mining. 
Hey. Why are you mumbling about over there? Thank you, Lombo. All talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Oh. No more the corporate stage. There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop clapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro. <sighs> What could you want? Yo. Oh. The mess was forge. Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny, I barely even notice you. <laughs> you know, what's the big idea? Talking like that to our steam guest. Huh. Pluto, or should I say boss? You really don't know your place, do you? Slurgo, tell me, who runs Girl City these days? Oh. Yonobuko. Yonobuko. Hey. And... Oh, fuck. Uh, who's in charge of Yonobuko? No. You are President Yonobu. Huh? You hear that, Bluto? You're not needed around here anymore. <laughs> you think I'm just gonna sit here and... Yo. So, Link, what's your business in Girl City, huh? Princess Zelda, huh? And you're wondering about any strange going on? Princess Zelda, I heard she's gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing. I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers, after all. Locks? Does that mean hair? Uh oh, the lady with hair like that? She's the same one President Yunobo talks about. Marble rock rose. Huh? Pipe down, you two. You keep your trap shut if you know what's good for you. Huh. As you can see, Girl City is the picture of peace. And we, we can help with Princess Elder. So you better shove off. Huh. I got to get more marble rock rose. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Hey. You know, what? I swear, if you bring in any more of that stuff, I'll. Uh, he still got his problem. My aching back. <laughs> Stodgy old guy, sticking your nose into things when you've got your spine to worry about. Slur, go off rock. Uh, time to head back to Yudobuko HQ. That guy. You should be just a kid following me around, playing boss this and boss that. Mm. It was all business as usual around here. Then he created Yonoboko, a group of girls who work the mines. Once they started digging up that marble rock rose, Yonobo and all the youngsters changed. Changed? <laughs> you heard me, changed. All those with that strange marble rock rose, Yonobo dug up. Now all the youngsters just sit around eating it instead of working. Why, some of them are even running scams trying to get more marble rock rocks. There's no way he can see what's, what a mess we're in with. But he keeps playing them. If it weren't for my darn spy, I march right into Yonoboko's HQ and give Yonobo a piece of my mind. But HQ is a pain in the neck location, you see. For starters, I have to go through the northern mine site. Uh, in this condition, I can't even ride a car. What to do? Uh, you know, a young girl who once saved his home with Link. After helping Goron City, he turned his attention to mining the ore and made accessible when that mountain stopped erupting. He formed Yonoboko, 
from a group of admirers in order to bring continued prosperity to his people. He was once a kind and compassionate young girl. I don't much care for gardening stuff. Uh, unless it's marble rock rose. Okay. Uh, 